Welcome back to the pin house. And you're looking at the proprietor, Mike McDonald from Stumps Lanes, who is sitting here as our official this morning. Got the pipe going, looking very distinguished. Normally used to seeing Jerry Bettinghouse sitting in that seat. He's out skiing. Yeah. Yeah, a little different. Don is Scudder. Boy, did he put on a show last game. And that actually makes it nine strikes in a row. He had eight to finish the last game. And, I mean, that was just an absolute exhibition he put on at the end of that match. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so was everybody else that was wow. watching. I think the folks here are still a little stunned. But Mike Whalen. Mm. Mike, Mike's been bowling quite a while, and he knows. These people know. Yes, there's Mr. Hoinke and uh, Tom, Tom Scheller from West Hills Ford. Mr. Hoinke from Western Bowl, our proprietor there. And, of course, Bo, you mentioned it a little earlier. He is the father. Of Jennifer. Indeed. Picked it up, though. Interesting thing to do right there. First frame. Mike's still not comfortable with the shot. Rather than playing the spare, the, the ultimate way to pick it up, Tommy, and that would be to put the ball between the two and the four pin, he elected to uh, use a bank shot. Uh, which would typically be his strike target, the one three, the one two. So uh, Mike gambling a little bit there in the early, early onset of the show, and he's not comfortable. Well, you know, last week he bowled all three matches to obtain his first ever title in 33 appearances. His 34th time was the one that made it. Boy, he was just something else last week. He was ringing up some big, big numbers. Picks up. Spare number two. What was his average but lap bow last week, or what kind of games did he roll? Well, he rolled a 225 in the roll-off to make the show against Dave Cowrie. 206 his first match, 241 his second, and 221 in the championship match. Boy, that's tough to beat. Comes out to a round of 220 average even. Maybe a little more. Pretty strong. Don Scudder, right lane, pinhouse. What a match he gave us last time. And he opens up with it again. You want reaction. You want emotion. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got it. Don Scudder, let's take a look at it here. Is he going to go to the Wally one more time? Can he possibly carry another strike? Boy, you bet he can. And there you see it. He is pumped. He is excited. Ooh. Don Scudder just on a roll, folks. I'm telling you, 10 in a row at this point. And but you? not in the same game. No, not in the same game. Yeah. And, and don't you think he's going to try to adjust his line to hit flush pocket either? Don, Don's smart enough to know that if it's carrying light, leave it like my dad says. If it, if it works, don't fix it. You know, our standby, who is Ron Horseman today, is uh, one of the co-proprietors with his father over at Glenmore Bowl, which is where we will be qualifying next Saturday and Sunday. That's Glenmore over in the Chimpeat area. And very quickly, I'd like to remind everybody, the show that's going to be aired from Hyde's next Sunday, starting at 11.30 on Sunday, is actually going to be taped on Saturday morning, starting at 8 a.m., uh, due to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. So, Tommy, you know, we'd like to have everybody come out Saturday morning and join us and watch the taping of the show. Certainly. We've had some good crowds all year long. Nice crowd here this morning. And hope to see you, as Bo mentioned, next Saturday, not Sunday, next Saturday at 8 o'clock. Mike Whalen got the strike in the third, but in the fourth. Again, he looks like he's, <clears throat> he's he is just not comfortable with what he has to play with right now. Uh, Don Scudder is not a factor. Mike has got him out of his mind. The, the lanes right now are a factor, and Mike... Uh, Mike is not handling what he has on his side proportionately, but I'll tell you what, Don Scudder has got to be an odds-on favorite today. This may be the best opportunity we'll see this year for somebody to bring home the car because he is loose, he is ready, he's lined up. Let's watch him. Lane 10, Pinhouse, 11 in a row. You called it. The new Wrath Factor, of course, that's not real tough to call the way he's going right really? now. That actually makes it 11, doesn't it? Ooh, let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, but if you just tuned in, well, nine of those. Was it nine of them? <laughs> no. Eight last game. Eight in the last game. 
and starting off, that was a, uh, a 300 game. <clears throat> kind of. Kind of. Yeah. But those keys aren't going to anybody till. Oh, not yet. Unless. Unless. Well, I won't say it, though, because we can. Dave Newrath has put the hex on the last two weeks. Don doesn't care. Yeah, it must be the Brenneman factor. <laughs> <laughs> no, Don's now we've talked about that. Don Scudder eased up on that ball a little bit. That's all he did in the last frames. And you know what you're seeing, Tommy? I'll tell you what you're seeing. You're seeing an adrenaline letdown. You're looking at the 4-7. Don Scudder, left lane, went high because he threw the ball slower. He wasn't as firm. Well, you know, the last match we saw, Mike Niehaus, he had strikes up until the seventh. And then after he missed in that seventh frame, I mean, yeah, he, he followed came, back up. He came back with a great strike and then a pull shot in the ninth frame, which I thought might be the clinching strike, but Don Scudder said, uh-uh, no way, I'm not out of here yet. And he threw it, he took it to the wall, brought back our championship for that match. Mike is lost. When on the other side, he is a scrambler, he is not a quitter, but right now Michael is lost. He's looking for an idea and he's not comfortable and he better find one soon. Well, there you see the score. Score tells the tale. You're looking at 30 pin deficit by Mike Whalen not insurmountable by any means, but uh, when you're not comfortable with the lane conditions, 30 pins is like about 60 pins. There you go. That's the way to do it. The replay will show an absolute can opener. Perfectly thrown. The ball sets up. Now it rolls off. One-two pocket annihilated the five pin right there, just nips it out. And the four and the seven on the left-hand side of your screen going out late. You can see how excited he is about it. Bo, we've got some sponsors out this morning, of course. We sure do. From the Hootapool Shanling Brewery, we have Ken Rippinger, Tony Plank, Al Catoro, and Steve Caton. And, of course, from West Hills, we have Tom and Todd Schiller here with the car. Steve Caton, nice to see his face, went to high school with Steve. Hadn't seen him in a long, long time. He's actually the salesman who uh, takes care of uh, Penthouse here with their needs and requirements in the brewery. I bet that's a bunch. Folks can drink some hooties. You betcha. And Don Scudder might need a hootie after that delivery. Last frame he went high. He eased up. The ball hooked early. This frame he still was a little slower than what he's been, but because he went high he took something off the ball and it did not hit the 5-7. Difficult split. Don's an accurate shooter, and he's got it. Wow, what a shot. When things are going good, they're going good. The concentration was there, and he got it. Don Scudder's the best I've seen in quite a while on spare shooting. There you see it. Get your arm out of the way. Don, ooh. well, if his arm would have been out of the way, you'd have seen a perfectly converted 5-7, ladies and gentlemen. That's two splits that he's made today. Two very difficult ones, really. Yes. They're not gimmies. Well, Don Scudder out in front at this point. Mike Whalen, though, working on three in a row. So David mentioned, don't count him out. We saw that last match. Looked like Mike Niehaus was in control. But this guy came back to get it. It's never over until it's over. <laughs> Don Scudder now is as lost as Mike looked in the first part of our match, leaving the 2-8. The 2-8 is more of a difficult spare than what it would appear because you have to cover the front pin very squarely and let the pin or the ball carry through to get to the back pin. We've seen a few of those missed this year already. That's right. Well, Don Scudder, again, it looks like he's taking a little extra time. He is, and I'm not sure I agree with that. He, uh, why change something that's been working, you know? Well, nonetheless, he picks up the spare. But, Bo, if somebody can come back, this guy right here. That's for sure. Mike did an outstanding job last week to become our king. He's got his work cut out for him. But again, as we mentioned, working on three strikes, looking for the fourth in a row. Let's watch. <laughs> Is this going to be the day of the comebacks, or what? Looks like it. 
He looks like he's starting to find that groove a little I bit, Dave. I mean to tell you, he's, he's right there. Well, on the, in the <laughs> Dave has thrown away his scorecard. <laughs> Dave, you've had trouble with that for a couple of, No, No need for getting all bent out of shape Dog now. On. Throwing pins. And Dog on pen. <laughs> Sometimes we get involved in so much paperwork back here that uh, we lose track of it. Mm. Unbelievable. Mike throws a great shot. He's going to almost leave the right, the 4-9 the, the, uh, for the right-handers. This would be the 6-8. The 6-pin, second one from the right-hand side of your screen. You see it now standing. Now you don't. Now the same pin right there. It looked like it was going to take the eight out not to be, but we've got a match. Picks up the spare. You know, Tom, at the penthouse, you may not have an opportunity to see it before, but they're in the process of doing some remodeling here. I've noticed a few new mirrors and some uh, carpeting or something on the sidewalls. It's really outstanding looking. Nice and pretty. Nice, cozy lanes right here in penthouse. They have a great concourse here. I love it. Uh, the bowler settee area where you, where you actually sit during your league competition is just so spacious and nice. And, of course, the concourse itself has got a lot of room, and, and you can really have a good time and practice. You can come out and practice and have a good time on the lanes, whatever. <laughs> you're, you're talking about a lot of room, Bo. Yeah. This man does not have a lot of room in his lead. It is now cut to six pins. You can see it at the score table right now. Like I said, six pins. Don Scudder enjoys a lead with a spare in the eighth. Both players will be even. Don Scudder could control his own fate if he strikes out in the ninth and tenth frames. He would be the champion. Mike could do nothing about it. Anything other than strikes, Mike can still be our winner. Who do you see being in control at this point, Dave? I tell you what, the momentum has swung in the favor of Mike Whalen. I think we saw an adrenaline release and then a letdown by Don Scudder. And let me tell you what, once that happens, it's very, very difficult to get the momentum back, Tommy. I'm not picking a winner. Uh-uh. No way. You're not making me go out and win. <laughs> well, Scudder told me, don't let, don't let New Wrath butcher me on the air today. I said, no. I said, I won't do it. <laughs> no. I'd never butcher this guy. He's too tough. He's talking to himself. Did you notice that? Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, he knows he's got, he knows what happened. He's done this a hundred times. You threw a big number or you, you come off a string, you come off with a couple of bad shots. You've got to get it back together. That looks That's good. the way you do it. That is the way you do it. Came right back when he needed it. Dave, you said he had to strike and he got it. He talked himself into it. Let's talk him right through this strike. 11th board, you see it perfectly. 1-3 pocket. Gets the 10 pin out late, but that's what it's all about. The great role, the great execution. Don Scudder still has control. Mike Whalen can apply a lot of pressure. This guy can bench 390 pounds. That's more than you and I together. A lot more. <laughs> but can he throw four strikes in a row? Not going to happen. Not going to happen right here. Going light, but he trusted the ball. He trusted the ball. It was wide. The same lane that, remember we talked last last frame on the lane 10, the ball set up a little bit. He didn't play the setup that time, went wide, he's shooting at the 3, 5, 6. That's mm. what can happen with the 3, 5, 6. It looked like he almost hurried that a bit. Well, he probably did, Tom, but again, that's a spare that... We're talking a matter of an inch one way or another. It can either be a spare or, or an open frame. So taking your time doesn't really give you a lot of advantage. You just get up there and hope it's in the area. Bad break, Mike Whalen. The only way he can possibly win is to throw three strikes in the 10th frame. He's got to have this one. Any chance. Hold it. You got it. Bo, how is our finals prize money to date sitting? At this point in time well we've accumulated uh, through the qualifier here at the penthouse in excess of six thousand dollars that will be spread amongst the people that you are seeing bow on television and of course the ones that who lose in the roll-off on Sunday morning prior to the TV show Mike Whalen has to have this one to force Don Scudder to mark in the tenth frame it's got to be there it's over we've got a new king for this week back-to-back -back weeks we come back with a new king there you can see it. The rundown would be Mike Whalen, 203. And as we speak, if Don Scudder doesn't hit his ankle twice, we, we, 
We'll be looking at our new champion, getting ready to step up and finish out on lane 10. Well, Mike Whalen has to be a little disappointed, Dave. You said he just couldn't find the groove today. Was not comfortable. Not comfortable from the start. You think that has uh, something to do with the fact that he was seated into the final match rather than bowling all three games and watching? That has a tendency to make you get either nervous or more pumped up. You know, you have two, one or two ways to go there. Well, that's, that's a good point, Bo. Uh, last week, Michael bowled four games to uh, snatch the crown. And Mike's, we bowled jackpots a lot of years. And I'll tell you what, going into that fourth or fifth hour of jackpot bowling, Mike's getting stronger and everybody else is getting a little more tired. He thrives on amounts of games. Well, there you look at our new king, Don Scudder. And folks, this is nothing new. We talked earlier about the fact that he has been the king 12 times. Been on the tube 20 plus times. <laughs> you better laugh, Don. A 510. <laughs> well, we're going to take a break. Stay with us. The new king, Don Scudder. <laughs> 